Hi, I'm Michael Vogt, lead interface artist for Star Wars The Old Republic, and I'm here today to talk to you about the new user interface customization coming up in Game Update 1.2. I'll show you how to take advantage of some of the new features and maybe offer a few tips on how to set them up based upon how you like to play. The UI customization toolset incorporates features we've been planning for a while and some features that address feedback and suggestions we've received from the community. To start the process, you'll click on a small plus sign located on your ability bar. Before Game Update 1.2, this button opened your secondary ability bar. But clicking here now will open the Interface Layouts menu. In designing the customization system, we wanted to make sure it allowed the player to be creative with their UI. But we also wanted to offer players some simple choices, and you'll find those here in a set of three pre-made layouts. This is the layout that you will see the first time you log in after downloading Game Update 1.2, and is the layout that most resembles the user interface prior to the update. This may be the preferred UI for a number of you who have grown used to the user interface as is. But for those of you who want different options, we include a couple of those as well. Similar to the default layout, the extended quick slots layout also includes your secondary ability bar, as well as both left and right side quick slots. This layout is intended to give you easy access to all your abilities. This pre-made layout is a throwback to other MMOs and is intended for experienced players. The player target and target of target frames as well as the mini-map are moved to the top of the screen while the chat window is moved to the bottom left corner. Beneath the pre-made layouts is the option to open the layout editor, which displays all the elements of the user interface which you can customize to suit your playstyle. When you first open the UI layout editor, you'll see the elements are sorted by color, green for primary elements like player and target frames, mini-map and social center, blue for secondary elements like your companion bar and target of target frames, and red for any UI elements that are toggled off by default. In the Edit Layout window, you can scale the size of your user interface to make the different frames larger or smaller. You can also access any saved layouts from the drop-down menu. The bottom half of the Edit Layout window is the targeted Edit menu. When you click an element of your UI, this area will fill with customization options exclusive to that element. For example, if you click on Main Quick Slots, you'll have the option to adjust the size of the frame, the number of slots that are shown, and the number of rows that the icon's slots have. Each element of the UI has its own individual options, in addition to the universal settings located on the top half of the menu. Of course, the Layout Editor also allows you to move any element of the user interface to a different spot on your screen. Just click on the element you want to move and drag it to the desired location. After you've got the layout how you want, you can save it to your PC's hard drive and then load the same layout to use for your other characters. If you make further changes, you can just save it again to update the profile. If you want to share your layout with a friend, you can send them a copy of the XML file, which they place in their GUI Profiles folder, and use in their own game. With the ability to customize your user interface, you're able to personalize your layout to your playstyle or personal aesthetic. Hey, but don't think we're done. We have a lot of exciting plans for future updates to the system. What you see here is only the beginning. We look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing some of the layouts that you create and share. Thanks for watching.